Oh my god, this smells so good. I have a vacation coming up, and you better believe this is coming with me. It literally smells like a beautiful beach bronzed goddess. Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about smelling good. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some new hygiene, smell good items that I've picked up recently. The majority of this is all drugstore affordable items. I have a couple more high-end items thrown in there also, but basically the gist of this video is just a bunch of products that are going to make you smell amazing. So that's kind of the theme of this video. So it's a lot of body care. I also have some skincare thrown in there as well. So just lots of really delicious products. Before we get into it, let me know what you your current favorite hygiene products are below because I'm always on the lookout for the next amazing hygiene product that will make me smell amazing and perform amazing and all of that. So leave those recommendations in the comments. If you're interested in watching this video, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get into it. All right, so in no particular order, this is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the scent Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter. I'm pretty sure I've hauled this before on my channel in a different hygiene haul but that's because I really really love this product and it was actually not in my collection for a while after I finished that first tub of this stuff I kind of forgot about it and I didn't buy another one I was using some of my tree hut scrubs but I just found myself really missing it and I think I saw a couple like hygiene videos of people mentioning this so I was like let me get that back because the scent of this is so good it smells like candy like pomegranate or like fruity raspberry berry candy and i also just love the exfoliation that this has so this is a lot different from the tree hut scrubs because those are like sugar scrubs so the granules are a lot bigger and you kind of feel it more it's like a very abrasive scrub whereas this one is more of i mean it literally says right here that it's moderate it still exfoliates i'm not sure what the product like the exfoliating product that is in here but they're a lot a lot smaller it's almost like sand it's like exfoliating with sand it's like very very tiny little particles are exfoliating you and it just feels a little bit better and dare i say i actually prefer this to the tree hut scrubs like i know the tree hut scrubs are so loved to be honest i think what i love about the tree hut scrubs is more so the sense rather than like what the actual product does and i feel like it's probably an unpopular opinion because i know people are obsessed with the tree hut scrubs but i much prefer this like if this line and this product had the sense of the tree hut scrubs that would literally be like my favorite product ever so. okay and then i have a ton of body washes as per usual first up this is not the most smell amazing type body product but this is a will get you clean, like squeaky clean type of body care product. This is the Dr. Brunner's Pure Castile Soap. I love these. I've gone through and like, this is a huge bottle, but I go through them so much because I use them every single day in the shower. This is mainly to get me like clean clean because a product like this, this is gonna, you know, it's gonna make you smell good. But if this is the only like just a smell good body wash that you're using, I feel like just these don't get you clean, you know? They make you smell good, but I need to feel clean first and then I go in with like a smell good body wash. So that's what the Castile soaps are. These will literally get you squeaky clean. When I say that, I literally mean squeaky clean. Like your skin will literally like skip because it's so, so clean with this product. I've never tried this scent. This is the citrus one. I'm currently using the lavender one and I'm almost done with it, which is why I picked up another one. But I think as far as like the scents of these that I tried, I've tried the unscented one and I mean, it's kind of boring. It's just <laughs> unscented. And then I've also tried the peppermint one. I know people love the peppermint one. Personally, I do not like the feeling. The peppermint one is so pepperminty that it kind of leaves this like minty cooling sensation all over your body there's something about that i do not like like let me know if okay i'm gonna have to use my teeth to open this i know that a lot of you probably cringed but i don't care oh that smells nice very citrusy but it's nice like smells really really clean and then i'm currently using the lavender one i like the lavender one but i feel like i've been using it for so long and i'm like almost done with the bottle that i'm just kind of getting tired of the scent so i figured i would pick up a new scent i know when i've hauled this in the past i've gotten a lot of people commenting that the almond one is really good but i smelled it at the store and i don't know i didn't really love it maybe it smells different in the shower but 
it was kind of like too pungent for me so i feel like this is the best way to go because it's just like a clean citrusy smell also a fun fact about these castile soaps they literally have like a million and one uses you could literally use this to wash your dishes you can use it to mop the floor wash your dog laundry all-purpose cleaner shave face and underarms obviously a body wash like it literally has a million uses but i will say if you are using this like on your body dilute it because it is pretty strong and then as far as smell good body washes this is like usually like my second step in my routine this this is like a new packaging of this because i still have one in the old packaging that is actually in my shower right now that i'm using but i am obsessed with this scent this is one of my favorite like all-time favorite scents in like a body wash this is such a sexy smelling body wash that will give you like perfume level scent that actually lasts even after you get out of the shower this is the caress black orchid and patchouli oil and the way that this smells like i need a perfume of this that's how good it is i'm currently using this exact scent just in a different bottle and i'm obsessed with it it's such a strong performing scent but this product also lathers really well so it's just all around a really nice product and then i got this so this has always been like a classic staple go-to of mine this is another one where like i heavily wish i had a perfume version of this scent this is the soft soap hydrating luminous oils in the scent coconut oil and calming lavender there is something about this scent and i i love it it smells so good and this scent will last out of the shower like that's one thing that i love about body washes like this is a lot of body washes you use them in the shower and you don't really smell them out of the shower but this one and that caress one are two body washes that will literally last so so long even after you get out of the shower the dove body washes not really you're gonna get the experience in the shower and they smell great in the shower but i feel like that's kind of where it ends you know like when you get out of the shower the scent just kind of goes away but those are like actual strong good performing body washes this is my current favorite shampoo now i have a whole rant about these shampoos well not these shampoos but drugstore shampoos in general more so i have a rant about more expensive high-end shampoos because i know hairdressers and just so many people will preach that you know you need to use a good quality high-end shampoo and when i tell you i have tried almost all well that's an exaggeration but i've tried so many high-end shampoos because i heard that and i'm like oh maybe i need to invest in something my hair was really really damaged because it was after i bleached it and then i bleached it again kind of recently and then i dyed it back as you guys see like if you see just a few videos ago my hair had this balayage and while it was really pretty i'm just a dark haired girl so i don't know why i even try and attempt to do anything lighter because i always go back to this so i basically just did it just to destroy my hair because of that and because my hair was super super brittle and damaged by the bleach i have been on a hunt for i feel like the past year just to find like the best performing high-end shampoo and they all i have tried olaplex biolage matrix briogeo literally like clean brands high-end brands and every single one of them has made my hair feel so stripped of hydration and then i go into my drugstore shampoos and i start using those and my hair feels like the life is put back into it like it just feels so good even when i'm cleaning it i don't get that like dry brittle feeling and i feel like with those higher end shampoos i would use them in the shower and even when i'm using them because my hair gets so rough and it literally strips all the oil out of my hair i like end up like pulling my hair out as i'm washing it so once i've gone to my more lower end shampoos i've actually seen a good difference in my hair and i know the whole thing about how drugstore shampoos have that like the silicone that makes it look like your hair is looking good but really it's like damaging it in the long run or something like that but these ones in particular that i've been using and loving they actually don't have a lot of bad stuff they don't have sulfates phthalates or dm dm hyden toen whatever that is these make my hair feel so good so this is the garnier fructis pure clean silicone free purifying shampoo and this stuff has made my hair feel so healthy and then i also got the conditioner i'm currently just using the shampoo that's in my shower right now but i'm almost done so i went and picked up two new ones and i got the conditioner of it as well 
And on top of these actually making my hair feel really good, they smell amazing and the scent lasts in your hair. It's like that amazing clean shampoo smell. I'm just, I'm saying goodbye to high-end shampoos because they've all, like Olaplex, I used Ol Olaplex right after I bleached my hair because it was so damaged and it made my hair fall out even more. That is basically the end of my little rant. I don't care. Like I know a bunch of hairdressers will come on here and tell me like, you know what, like these are horrible for your hair and all of that, but they make my hair feel good. And I'm actually seeing my hair grow and I'm not losing as much hair. I also have um, Hashimoto's, like thyroid issues, which makes my hair fall out even more. So these are actually like strengthening my hair I feel like so you could literally tell me that there is gasoline whatever in that product I will still use it and I still also really love my mane and tail shampoo that I've always talked to you guys about that is still in my rotation like I use that because that stuff makes my hair grow like no other I will say a little disclaimer about it is it's very drying like it really dries my hair even when I'm like washing it but I just put like a really really moisturizing conditioner and then it's completely fine but I just love the fact that it makes my hair grow so now i'm moving on from shampoos let me show you guys a new deodorant that i've picked up i feel like i pick up a new deodorant in every single one of these hygiene hauls but recently i picked up the native eucalyptus and mint i feel like out of all the aluminum free um deodorants that i've tried the native ones are the best ones that actually I feel like work for me. I love the coconut and vanilla one, but lately I've just been wanting something that's a little bit more fresh and clean. And this eucalyptus and mint one smells so good. It kind of almost gives me like a cologne-ish scent to it, but it's very, very soft. Like it's not gonna make you smell like you have a freaking cologne on, but it just makes your underarms feel really clean and smell clean and fresh throughout the whole day. So I love that. This product I've actually already used a few times and I love it. I love the actual formula of the product itself but I love the scent so this is the Taraji P Henson I feel is that the brand I think that's what it's called but it is the anything glows body oil I know that I saw that this brand recently came out with body sprays of this and I was in Walmart the other day and I didn't find this scent I think it was sold out but they did have some other scents now this is the vanilla and tuberose scent and when I tell you this smells so good. It's like such a creamy, like gourmand level vanilla type scent. It smells so good. It is such a good vanilla scent and the fact that it's an oil and it's hydrating. It also has squalene oil in it. I'm so excited to get my hands on the body spray of this if I ever come across it because this smells amazing i don't know about the tuberose i don't really smell that in here but I, I highly smell the vanilla and i love it and then i picked up this i saw that this was like a new item and you guys know how obsessed i am with berry anything like all types of berry scents give them to me perfumes lotions body sprays i will take them all and this is the new jergens skin smoothie refreshing drink for your skin scented body lotion and this is in the scent blissful berry when i tell you this is one of the most realistic berry scents i have ever come across it smells like a berry gelato like it is so potent on the berries oh my god it smells so good forget about any bath and body works body spray the berry scent in this is so potent and like realistic and it smells like berry candy. It's so sweet and good. It's not synthetic. It's very, very realistic. I've been loving layering this with just about any berry scent on top, all my body sprays, all my perfumes, and it just makes the scent last and smell so good. It literally has this delicious picture, like this berry parfait in it and that is literally what it smells like this is such a good if you're into berry scents you need this lotion and it's pretty hydrating <laughs> too so yeah but the scent i'm obsessed right, and then the last body care item before we get into the skincare is this so this kept coming up on my tiktok for you page it kept coming up on my youtube subscriptions of a bunch of people that were recommending this product and this is the way body cream in this shit the shade in the scent saint bart's this smells so good i wore it the other day on date night and i had so many oils on i was literally glowing that night and i put this on first of all the consistency of this just makes me like literally want to eat it like look at this let me show you 
does it not look like it's like delicious like i literally want to grab a spoon and like eat this this smells oh my god oh my god this smells so good i have a vacation coming up literally next week we're going to a bunch of tropical beachy places and you better believe this is coming with me because it smells so good i don't know how to explain it obviously there's a light coconutty scent to it it doesn't smell sunscreeny or anything it literally smells like a beautiful beach bronzed goddess the consistency is amazing it's so rich and moisturizing but does not leave you um feeling greasy or gross highly recommend this i got this during the sephora rouge sale so i got it for 20 percent off so it was kind of like the perfect time to get it so i'm sorry that i'm filming this like this is literally the day after the rouge sale so i'm really sorry about that but i highly recommend this stuff it is a little bit on the pricier side and the scent is just so amazing i'm literally obsessed with okay, it so now let's get into skincare i've been really really getting into skincare lately i've just been doing so much research on really really good products investing in those products because you know skin is your biggest organ and i feel like taking care of your skin is just as important as smelling good and all of that you need to take care of your skin so the first two products are higher end products the rest are going to be more affordable so these two products are from sephora again i got them during the rouge sale these are like my go-to's they're repurchases this is literally like i think the fifth or sixth time that i've repurchased this cleanser which is crazy to me because the first time i bought it i bought it just because i just wanted to try it out i didn't think that it would stay like a staple in my routine but i literally never want to use anything else because the way this cleans my skin is unlike any cleanser i've ever used so this is the youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser the only downside about this product is the price i think it's like 40 something dollars which is crazy for a cleanser and trust me i know how crazy that is because i know obviously a cleanser is literally going to be on your skin for like a minute as you're washing your skin and then you literally throw money down the drain because you're washing it off but i can't i can't explain it i feel like if you've tried this then you truly know how good this is so this is what it looks like comes with the pump you just like take out the cap yeah you guys have seen this in like my hygiene hauls i'm included in my sephora hauls it's always something that i buy usually i buy it during the sales because it kind of works out perfectly that way like I buy it, buy it during the sale and then it lasts me until like the next sale And then the next product this is another repurchase This is the second time I've repurchased this and this is the polish choice exfoliate 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and it has salicylic acid in it and it's just so amazing This product literally makes my pores disappear like it makes my skin feel renewed and it's such a good product you'll hear that from a ton of people it has amazing ingredients and it actually performs like it really really does you'll see a difference with this literally like the first time that you use it so really really good product then again as i said i've been doing a lot of research this is a product that i got this is korean skincare that is one thing i will say korean skincare is just on another level so i bought this on amazon and it's the good all vegan rice milk moisturizing cream and this has really good ingredients very clean and just i don't know just amazing i've tried this already a few times on my skin and it feels really really good super moisturizing it just has like amazing ingredients that will make your skin happy i will link that in my amazon storefront if you're interested and this brand coco kind i have another product that i'm going to show you of theirs but this is a very nice brand with clean ingredients for your skin and this is the revitalizing eye cream i've been struggling to find a good eye cream and i know that eye cream is kind of like one of those items where it's like do you really need an eye cream because it's literally just like a glorified moisturizer you know what i'm saying like you can just use your moisturizer and put that under your eyes but this particularly i've been using it and i've actually been seeing a difference like i really really love i love how it feels like the whole experience is amazing but i actually do see a difference so this is the revitalizing eye cream and this is for a firmer brighter looking eye area and I will say I've actually noticed a difference and it comes with like a metal applicator so when you're applying it under your eyes it feels so cooling and amazing. I know again eye creams are like hit or miss but 
out of all the ones I've tried, this is definitely my favorite. And then I got this cocoa butter skin therapy oil. I saw this on TikTok, like people were raving about it. And I really wanted to try it. I think it has like rosehip in it and rosehip is a really amazing oil. It has tons of oils. Like the ingredients are basically just a bunch of oils. It's sweet almond oil, sesame oil, coconut oil, macadamia nut oil, apricot, grapeseed, argan, rosehip, camelina, and sunflower. So it has a ton and this is like the first oil I've ever tried that doesn't feel greasy and it really moisturizes my skin. I have the driest skin on earth. Like my skin, if I don't put moisturizer on it, I can barely move my skin. That's how like dry it feels and I hate that feeling. So I need all of the moisturization that I can get and I've been really, really liking this. I've already used it a few times. I use it on top of my moisturizer and it makes my skin feel amazing and look amazing. Fortunately, I don't have acne prone skin anymore. I used to back when I was in high school and my hormones were all over the place. But now that I'm in my mid 20s, I thankfully don't have acne issues. Knock on wood. Wood. So I can't tell you if it's like improved my skin in that sense, but it has made my skin feel plumper, filled in my fine lines, just makes my skin feel really youthful and rejuvenated. So we love it. All right, and then the last two products are actually from Whole Foods. They're two face masks. So I've been just doing some research on some really nice face masks because I've just been doing more like self-care days where I just pamper myself, put on a nice mask, relax and all of that. And these two are amazing. I've actually already tried this one before. I used to own it a while back. So I know I already love this. This is the Teamy Detox Mask. It's a green tea mask that has matcha, lemongrass and clay. And the way that this draws out your impurities, forget, first of all, don't even use those little pore strips that you like rip off. Those are so bad for your skin. And I, I, I used to use them like religiously thinking that they actually got all the gunk in my pores out. I mean, they do, but they also literally rip your skin off. This is what you're going to want to get because when you put this on, you will literally see all of the impurities being drawn out of your like nose you can put this all over your skin and you'll literally see all that gunk coming out as it's drying and it's just so satisfying to see that and it makes your skin feel like renewed after you take it off it's so freaking good and then i this is a new one i've never tried this one but this is by that coco kind brand this is a chlorophyll mask chlorophyll has also been an ingredient i've been doing a lot of research on and it's really really good like both internally and externally i know people take like the chlorophyll i don't know if they're pills or like they drink i don't know i don't know what that is but apparently it detoxes you from the inside out and it makes you like smell better or something i don't know much about it so don't quote me on that but this is a topical chlorophyll mask. So this is a detoxifying facial treatment for purified skin. It says that it includes a spatula, but it's not on here. Yeah, I don't see a, sma a spatula, but anyways, I don't care. It says to place one to two scoops into your palm and mix with equal parts water, apply moisture to face, and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes before rinsing off. So it just detoxifies your skin, so. I'm very excited to use that. And I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it wasn't like the biggest haul ever, but this is just some of the recent products that I've bought lately. Let me know if you guys want me to do my what I got at my Sephora sale haul because I got a lot of stuff. I probably will make that video anyway, but still let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. Please let me know your favorite hygiene products currently. Please leave those in the comments. That is it for today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.